So this is a 1969 Shasta Compact. We purchased it for $2,500 and we put a little over $2,500 into it. So we have a little over $5,000 into it. Right here is our kitchen. So this is actually the original stove. We did change the color. We um, painted it the new color, but all the original stove parts and um, that's just it without our cutting board stove top on top of it. So we have the full oven and stove top that's all working, which is awesome. Um, we have lots of storage in the kitchen, which is really cool. Um, this is a new fridge. There was the original ice box, but we decided to switch it out for a fridge just to be a little more convenient. So um, this is uh, a vintage looking, but it's actually very new. We have all these drawers and then storage space under here and both under here. So lots of cabinet space and of course this full cupboard up here. Lots of room for everything we'll need in our kitchen. And then this little room right here is our bathroom. So um, our bathroom is more for like emergency uses. It's kind of more of a stor storage room slash bathroom. We did put a new toilet in um, and did all new piping. Um, this whole thing we did new electrical and new plumbing for the entire camper. So that was a big portion of our budget. Um, so we bought, like I said, a lot of storage in here and of course the toilet. So back here is a water tank. We had to have a custom water tank put in here. And then we have a little shelf that we put on top of the water tank for a little more storage. We have our battery back there, our battery charger, our heater, and our one of our fans back there. So that's just kind of um, all extra storage back there as well as the water tank. And then all of our um, battery stuff is back there. Our water pump runs off the battery. Then we also have a light up here that runs off the battery. And uh, that way we're able to like keep it up and running even when we don't have electric. This little space back here, um, small but mighty. We've got all of this for the hanging area and then a couple of little pull out storage uh, containers to put all folded clothes down here will be some of Mitzi's stuff. And then as we go back here is our kind of bed on um, this was, and Mitzi, this was originally um, a bed with a dinette and I didn't like the dinette um, option. And so we kind of took that out and made a custom bed. We wanted a bigger bed. It was a really small bed that was in here at first, not even like a twin size bed. So this right now as it is, is a twin size bed. But we also have the option to fold it out and make it almost a full size. So it's like a custom size bed. It's a few inches shorter than full. But I'll show you that here. This folds up and then we just lock it in here. You can get it. And then so those locked up and then this back here is made to be either for the sofa or for the bed. So I can pull this forward, move this out of the way, and then this lays out to be our larger bed size. So then, like I said, now we have almost a full-size bed in here. And then we can just, during the day, put it right back up and have all of our space. Oh, it's going to be ready. We also, underneath the bed, have storage. So there's a couple ways to access it. There is a door on the outside that we can access it. We can obviously access it from under here, and we can also lift the entire bed up if we need to, to get into the storage space. Under here in our storage, we have a, bed, a table, which I will pull out in just a moment and show you guys. This is our table. Um, we got it off Amazon and what's really nice about it is it's indoor outdoor so we can use it for both inside and outside and it's super easy just to pop up so um, this way we can like have a table when we want it to eat or work on but then we can just throw it back underneath the bed and have more space when we're not using it. A couple more little storage containers that I have like super heavy duty velcro on so they don't fall while we're driving and then of course a couple of our little plants. 
So we did opt to put a tiny TV in here. We weren't sure at first, but we do have like some shows we watch. And so in case like rainy days and stuff, we can be in here. We'll bring like an Xbox along with us. So that's right here. These benches also have some storage under them. So it's not a ton, but there's a little more. We can slide stuff back here. That one as well on that side has storage under it. Um, we have just a little entryway shelf that we can put a few things in. We have like spices up there right now. And of course the like, hanging keys and things. These curtains. Um, I made the curtains and then we just um, did these little hooks to clip them on and off. We did the entire renovation ourselves um, with the help of my dad. And a lot of our work was back in this half. Uh, we had total wa water damage back here. It had to tear everything out. And then um, the other big expense was, like I said, electrical and plumbing. So that took a big chunk of our money. And then the rest just went to like repainting, doing new floors. And uh, we had to redo the trailer lights on the outside, which was the only thing that we did not do ourselves. We took to somebody to have done.